Hi, everyone. I'm a nurse on 7 East. I've been there for, oh my gosh, five years now. Seems like forever. Um, so I'm pretty familiar with the ERAS stuff that we do on the floor. And I'm going to talk to you about um, how we implemented the use of low-dose continuous ketamine on the general care areas. Uh, no disclosures. Um, so our objectives is to talk about the evidence with low-dose ketamine use. Also describe the implementation process that we went through um, on getting it started on the floor and what we do with current practice. So background, how we decided going about starting this pilot was based off literature review, benchmarking, and uh, state advisory opinion, which I'll go into now. So um, ineffective pain management for patients with chronic pain or opioid tolerance is a really serious issue. And trying to figure out how we can go about making that a little bit better for them um, sparked the interest of starting this. Based on evidence, um, a lot of studies show that there are some benefits to having these patients put on low-dose continuous ketamine post-operatively and having adequate pain management, and it had minimal side effects. We did benchmarking with local and national facilities. Um, Mayo, Rochester, and Jackson were already doing it. Um, also, Brigham and Women's, um, Walter Reed, a few others that we looked at for um, guidance because they were already practicing the use of low-dose ketamine. And then Arizona State Board of Nursing was also working at the time to formulate an advisory opinion um, and other advisory opinions such as Texas, Wyoming, Nebraska were also looked at for how to go about getting started here in Arizona. Some of you may be asking what's ketamine besides an uh, anesthetic or horse tranquilizer. <laughs> It is a NMDA receptor blocker. Um, at low doses, the, it has analgesic properties without affecting consciousness. Um, also can have uh, minimal sedation, and it also helps block opioid tolerance. Um, the actual dosage of ketamine is low dose is defined as less than or equal to 0.3 milligrams per kilogram per hour, or less than or equal to 50 milligrams per kilogram per hour. Any higher than that, then it's not considered low dose. So this PowerPoint I really love because it was presented to us nurses when we first were told that we were going to be doing this pilot um, by the anesthesiologist who was kind of spearheading this. Just goes to show all the different areas that pain is actually transmitted when um, throughout the body and what different areas the medications target that pain. So a huge uh, sell on using ketamine is